Well, I'm working on this back section, this section back in here. I'm uh, gathering up everything that uh, I think I want to use back there. And I found room for uh, another small depot that I could fit in there. So I bought a kit. And it's a wood kit. I've never put a wood kit together uh, before. It's been the plastic one. So this is going to be something different. Uh, well, I'll show you. That's that. Uh, the Hickinson Depot. And um, it's pretty cool. It was made in St. Cloud, Minnesota. So I found a place where I could use another depot on my layout. So I'm going to have a hand at um, putting this together. And it doesn't look like it'd be that difficult. This is, uh, you know, all laser cut wood pieces. So we'll see how that comes out. I'll probably paint all the pieces before I do anything and then um, start putting it together. This is pretty cool. It, um, it's a paper. You know, you have to glue these on, but I mean, look at the names. I'm, I'm, right now I'm looking at White Rock. I, I live near a town that's uh, maybe, oh, 15 miles away or so, 16 miles. It's White Rock. I'm, I may name, name that station. I may name it White Rock. We'll have to see. I'm painting these two-tone, lighter gray on the top, darker gray on the bottom. And I ran a tape strip. You can see I still have one on here. Um, to try and keep my lines straight. Well, that's kind of what it looks like now. I removed the tape from the bottom, so come out with a pretty straight line. And all the trim and everything is on this other one. So I painted that all gray. And it kind of uh, gave the floor a, a gray gray wash, you know, to kind of make it look like it was stained. And I, I'm, I'm not going to cover this with another coat, I don't think. It, it kind of looks like it needs a paint job this way, and I, I kind of like that look. Those are the directions that came with the depot. So we've got wall sections we've got to put together. Tells you, you know, to mask it off for the paint, so that's just what I did. There's uh, two pages on how to put this together. And it should be a pretty simple op operation. It's, um, you know, it's like all prefab walls. I'm letting all this dry now. I'm just cutting out these parts. This is um, this is the bottom sash for this window system, and then this is the exterior trim. And then they've got a trim board here that's going to go on top of that. So there's one, two, three, four, four parts to make the window, plus the glass that you have to put in those sections. I'm not used to working with something, you know, this intricate. I mean, check out the size of my fingers. So I'm trying to do everything with tweezers and stuff and move it around. And I did, I did do the door here. I don't have the trim on it yet. And I did those two doors. But I still have to put the trim on those. That's what you're cutting out. And a couple of these here things, like this thing here is the trim for the doors yet that I have to get out of there. But it's coming out pretty easy. There's just a, little, you know, a couple of little clips of wood that holds it in there. And that's the, that's the glass. Well, I managed to get all my windows into my walls. That's how they look. 
And I, I showed you that the windows had to be put together. It's it's really cool. I don't you know, they're so small it's hard to see, but you know, it was actually a upper and a lower sash. The sash is the part that holds the glass. And there's on the on the upper sash, I mean on the lower sash, there's actually a top and bottom to the way it was cut. The the bottom of the sash is higher up. And the top of the sash is smaller, you know, to look like if you were looking at your window um, in your home. So I thought that was pretty cool. Well, I finally got this finished. It took me all day. I wanted to get it finished so I could get it up on my layout. I'm not going to put a light in this one. Um, they, they gave a couple different names. It's actually a Hickson. Um, Minnesota um, Depot and they, get, they had the name in there for White Rock so I thought I'd use White Rock. White Rock is a little town that's not too far from me but it's fictional as far as the railroad station goes because they never had railroad in, in White Rock that I know of. So I'll weather that and I'll put it up on my on my uh, Well, I just follow down the track a little bit, and you can see where that depot is going to go. Kind of ignore the rest of the buildings in the background because this is work in progress here. Um, that's my diner over there, but I'm not exactly sure exactly where I'm going to put it. But that's the depot I just finished. You know, since I started this railroad hobby here, uh, it's almost it's coming up on nine months that I've been working on this and I uh, almost feel like a little kid again. I mean I used to put models of cars together when I was a kid all the time so uh, I'm having a blast with these buildings. Although some of these pieces are you know kind of small for my big fingers and you know I have to use these tweezers and everything and but hey I think it's coming along. Hey you have a great day and I'll catch you on my next one.